good morning you all today we are starting with a new session session 3 of unit number 1 communication skills today we will discuss visual and written methods of communication let's start visual and written method of communication in this particular chapter we will learn the visual communication components of visual communication written communication components of written communication in the previous session we have learned about the verbal and non verbal styles of communication in this session we shall be talking about two other styles of communication the visual and the written styles of communication let's begin with it visual communication let's see what's written in the book have you ever wondered that if you happen to visit a country or place whose language you are not familiar with what would happen say you landed at the airport and you have to use the restroom but you can cannot ask the workers there as you can't converse in their language and they do not understand yours now what would you do now some of you might say simply we will use google translate that's it that's that's way we can understand their language or rather we can convey in their languages by translating it into their languages but see we are not talking about any kind of a aids which are going to be used we are talking about the visual communications so let's once again land, land back to the book what it says see how smart you are you guessed it right you cannot converse in their language but you can always look for the sign boards that shows the direction of restroom so even if those people cannot converse in your language it really helped you by communicating to you visually and such is the power of visual communication that's the way we communicate visually we happen to really use it to see these signs which are below in maybe the railway stations or airports or any other terminals where uh, we use it to have public facilities these kind of a markings or indications use it to be there so these indication on the markings are used to use it to communicate to us visually that's why their existence is visual communication is type of communication where the message are conveyed through pictures symbols sign boards logos through through any visual medium in this session the session you shall learn about the type of communication type of visual communication that we will see now components of visual communication there are certain elements that contribute together to make visual communication possible let's see them one by one objects sometimes actual object are used to demonstrate things to show how you would tie a knot it is better to use a rope as a as the object your teacher must have explained the concept of siphon using two bakers and pipe objects are useful for demonstrating some action in airplanes too you must have seen that demonstrate the security instructions air hostesses often use some objects such as an oxygen mask and so forth to teach you about how to use them or when to use them objects are usually used mainly for demonstration purposes now the objects 
it's better to use the objects uh, as an uh, uh, visual instrument or visual component while communicating visually because the actual objects always try able to communicate the exact meaning whatsoever is the person want to communicate now the models now after the object the models the model is what sometimes to demonstrate working of a system or object showing which is not possible actually means kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki jaise actual objects ko dikhaya nahi ja sakta kafi bada hoga ya available ne, uh, subject of availability tab kya karte hai scaled model ka istemal karte hain model are then model are used model are used for example often see uh, architects create 3d model of their big construction projects similarly it's basically kind of a simulation of a visual aid or you can rather say it's a kind of a visual aid which creates a kind of a simulation that you are going through your own property or the design as uh, visually it use it to come in front of you one after another you feel like you are in the real world so that's actually called as the 3d modeling aisa kyun kiya jata hai kyunki actual construction to taiyar nahi kiya ja sakta hai kisi ko bhi dikhane ke liye ki wo actually banne ke baad kaisa dikhega jis wajah se 3d modeling ke through virtually dikha diya jata hai ki banne ke baad kuch is tarah ka dikhega aapka entire constructions isi tarah se uh similarly your teacher often demonstrate the working of a solar system through a model solar system agara ko ya globe ke through aapko padhaya jata hai ki aapka prithvi uh, aise dekhne mein hai kuch uh, alag alag continents sub continents ya alag alag countries is is jagah pe maujood hai ocean sea ye sab dikhane ke liye virtually hum log modeling ka istemal karte hain ya us model ko kya bolte hain globe और सोलार सिस्टम को देखने के लिए अलग अलग मॉडल्स होते हैं ना आपके प्रैक्टिकल रूम्स में तो उनको देखकर आपको बताया जाता है कि ये सोलार सिस्टम एक्चुअली काम कैसे करता है तो एक्चुअल सोलार सिस्टम को दिखाना तो पॉसिबल नहीं होता जिस वजह से उनके मॉडल स्केल्ड मॉडल्स का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है जिस तरह से ह्यूमन स्केलेटन को देखने के लिए एक छोटा सा प्लास्टिक का स्केलेटन आपके सामने दिखा आपको समझाया जाता है कि कौन सा बोन किस तरह से दिखता है राइट इसी तरह से मॉडल्स का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है क्या कन्वे करने के लिए टू कन्वे एनी काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज टू यू और टू कम्युनिकेट थर्ड पिक्चर्स टू डिपिक्ट एक्चुअल सिचुएशंस अ पिक्चर इज द बेस्ट मीडियम टू शो हाउ मच डैमेज द फ्लड और द सुनामी कॉस्ट पिक्चर्स आर द बेस्ट वे सिमिलरली to show the challenges and the impact of war on certain countries picture would the best possible medium hum log sabko malum hai ki pictures ke dwara kisi bhi cheez ko samjhana sabse aasan hota hai ki actual replica hota hai wo basically jo situation hai usko sahi sahi aur ekdam 100% depict karta hai kyunki wo usi ka ek पिक्चर खींचा हुआ होता है चाहे वो किसी भी चीज़ को प्रूव करना हो जैसे टू द सो यहाँ पर आपके बुक में जैसे लिखा हुआ है तो इट्स द बेस्ट वे टू कम्युनिकेट द आफ्टर इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द फ्लड सुनामी सिमिलरली चैलेंजेस एंड द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ वॉर राइट सो इनका इम्पैक्ट कैसे पड़ता है कंट्रीज़ के ऊपर ये सारी चीज़ें दिखाने के लिए सबसे अच्छा तरीका पिक्चर्स है कि आपको सीधा सीधा कम्युनिकेट कर जाता है वो पिक्चर्स कि एक्चुअल हालात कैसे हैं एक्चुअली चीज़ें कैसी होती हैं द नेक्स्ट वन इज़ द फोर्थ वन द ड्राइंग और इलस्ट्रेशन दोनों करीब करीब एक ही चीज़ है ठीक है टू एक्सप्लेन द वर्किंग ऑफ सम कंसेप्ट द बेस्ट वे इज टू यूज इलस्ट्रेशन टू एक्सप्लेन द वाटर साइकिल द बेस्ट वे वुड बी टू यूज द ड्राइंग और एन इलस्ट्रेशन आप देख रहे हो नीचे एक पिक्चर बना हुआ है उसमें अलग अलग कॉम्पोनेंट्स को पहले ड्रॉ कर दिया गया है और उसके बाद 
इंडिकेट किया गया है या एरो के थ्रू दिखाया गया है कि किस तरह से कौन सा साइकिल किसके बाद आता है तो ये इंटायर वाटर साइकिल को एक्सप्लेन करने में ये पर्टिकुलर इलेस्ट्रेशन सक्षम हो जाता है क्योंकि आपको एग्जैक्टली exactly दिखा देता है कि ये चीज़ चीज़ें वर्चुअली हैं बट स्टिल इट्स शोइंग यू वट हैपन्स इज एक्चुअली थ्रू दिस इलस्ट्रेशन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी ईजी वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन विजुअल कम्युनिकेशन ग्राफ्स वी ऑल नो द ग्राफ्स आर एक्चुअल ग्राफ्स एंड द चार्ट आर विक्टोरियल रिप्रजेंटेशन ऑफ एक्चुअल डेटा दैट्स ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ अ मीडियम ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन द वे ग्राफ शोज द स्टैटिक स्टिक्स इट एक्चुअली visually you can see them and understand the growth or the negative or the positive growth very easily of any kind of a data the graphs when someone has to make decisions based on the bulk of related data then the relationship of the data is depicted through graphs or chart which makes the data interpretation and taking decisions accordingly very easy for example it is the very easy to make out from the following graphs that the blue eyes see the best in dark as compared to the brown and green eyes aapko seedha seedha is graph ko dekhte hi pata chal jata hai ये तीन चीज़ों को कंपेयर किया गया है तीन अलग अलग डेटा है जिनको कंपेयर किया गया है ग्रीन ब्लू और ब्राउन आइस ये तीनों का अलग अलग डेटा को लेकर लाइट में कितना देख पाता है कौन सा कलर का आँख और डार्क में कितना देख पाता है कौन से कलर का आँख तीन तरह के आँखों के बारे में बताया गया है और तीन तरह के आंखों का दो स्टैटिक स्टिक्स हैं दो अलग अलग लाइट में कितना दिखता है और डार्क में अब इसको देखने से ही सीधा सीधा आपको पता चल जाएगा कि कौन कितना अच्छा देख पाता है या नहीं देख पाता है सो द विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द एक्चुअल डेटा कम्युनिकेट्स वेरी इजीली थ्रू दिस ग्राफ्स एंड द चार्ट नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज मैप maps are the most common way to depict geographical details of a place or location you would not have known about the locations of various continents and countries without geographical maps maps using maps different types of geographical information is depicted such as terrains rainfalls produce populations are so many things may be finding the way out through the maps so this world of google maps everybody knows about the maps and how much they are helpful to communicate with us with the new places and other issues like reaching different places knowing about different places knowing the significances of different places or maybe a petrol pump or atms can be searched in the map signboards in accordance to the book it's written in the book like uh, city corporation and other government bodies often communicate about some important places or mark using the signboards you have earlier seen the use of signboards on airport the traffic signals make the traffic flow smoother and avoid chaos now signboards you can see two of the signboards which are given that usually use it to be uh, situated beside the road because they the first one is actually telling about there are, there is a 
zebra crossing or pedestrian way ahead and the second one is telling that uh, there is a u-turn ahead okay now both of them having their own significances one they tells about something or other which is available there in that particular place now is they are communicating anything yes they do they do communicate so here is some kind of a visual communication which is happening as you saw the board you immediately recognize them and understand what it tried to explain you right the next one in instructional symbol or icons icons we all know that, that those are the graphical representation of any kind of a sign those called as an icon right these these days nearly each one of us uses smartphone to open an app you just tap on its icon which is also a way of visual communication after seeing the icon you simply understand what this icon going to do for you if you will tap on it it actually signifies the application which it's open after getting touched so it also communicates certain things to us similarly when you play an audio or video you see the signs for pause play and stop this is also a kind of a visual communication the app try to communicate with you with these icons if you will touch on these symbols or icons the things going to be happen if the first one you will click it will pause the music the second one will play and the third one will stop gradually you learn watching these things or using these things after using them once or twice you get habituated and once when ever you see these icons you simply understand what they are going to do next one is the logos the primary purpose of logos is to identify associated brands logos are also leveraged to communicate important brand message and values for example consider the two logos which are given there first one is of fedex this is a well known company what that company is used to do the fedex is the courier service company of the world repute means it's a very reputed courier service company the hidden arrow in the fedex logo conveyed that the company delivers its services to the customers speedy speedily the arrow which is given there in the fedex the next one is amazon uh, i believe everyone knows about the amazon.com this is a well known online marketing or online shopping store amazon.com it's also available in india or worldwide Amazon is world's biggest online store in its logo there is an arrow too connecting letter a to z if you will recognize them you can see the arrow is starting from the a and the face of the arrow is getting end on the z so by connecting these letters the message is that the online shopping site has everything for the customers that's basically the work of a logo advantages and disadvantages of visual communication let's see the advantages first it is immediate it is message its message gets delivered immediately it is immediate matlab turat turat iske message ko kisi ko convey ho jata hai dikhte hi pata chal jata hai ki yes this is the thing so the message is immediately get confirmed it's simple and easy to remember as the everything is depending upon the pictorial representation so it's easy to remember it's it easy to identify as well understanding the visual tool does not require specialized education or training 
also it is easy to remember and recall as the visuals are very easy to remember and recall it's easy to understand because these things are actually use it to be drawn like that that people can easily understand what's the meaning of it that's the thing the third one it's universal visual mediums able to communicate with the people from all backgrounds who speaks other languages they can understand it too because the visuals use it to replicate the things which are in actual a simple smiling emoji makes sense to people from all over the world even those who are illiterate they can also understand that it sings a smile so the things are easy to understandable now disadvantages the visual media can't handle the complex data not everything can be expressed in image especially depicting the complex data and relationship are difficult to portray visually the thing is uh, actually jab hum visual data ki baat karte hain ya visual communication ki baat karte hain चीज़ें जो बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हैं द वर्ड्स जो काफ़ी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड या सिचुएशंस जो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हैं उनको समझाना विजुअल एड्स के थ्रू काफ़ी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड या काफ़ी मुश्किल वाली बात है क्योंकि हो सकता है आप उस सिचुएशन को ड्रॉ कर दो या बना दो लेकिन सामने वाला आपके सिचुएशन को या आपके बोलने को या आपके विजुअल इफेक्ट्स को सही सही पहचान पा रहा है कि नहीं इसको बोलना काफ़ी मुश्किल है सो इट्स इट सिंपली कॉन्ट हैंडल द कम्प्लेक्स डेटा सेकेंड वन इट कल्चरली एम्बिगुएस अ विजुअल साइन मे डिलीवर कंट्राडिक्ट्री मैसेज इन डिफरेंट कल्चरल बैकग्राउंड सो द एक्चुअल मैसेज मे आई द गेट लॉस्ड और मिस इंटरप्रिटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल थम्स अप डिजाइन माइट बी अ ग्रेट थिंग इन अमेरिकन बट माइट बी ऑफेंसिव टू पीपल इन चाइना they might feel like you are saying you are nothing instead of saying done so people from different reason might interpret those visual aids differently that's a kind of a problem increase cost it takes time and money to produce visual media printing or producing those costs in term of money even if the image is only projected the time to create a chart graph can cost money in the form of man hours needed to create them so increase the cost jaise bolne mein kuch paisa to nahi lagta hai simply aap bol dete ho isme cost involved hai kyunki jo bhi karna hai visually aapko fabricate karna hai banana hai to jahan bhi kuch banana ya matlab जहाँ पर भी कोई चीज ऐसा हो कि जिसको क्रिएट करना पड़े तो वहाँ मैन आर से लेकर सब चीज का इन्वॉल्वमेंट हो जाता है राइट रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेटिंग थ्रू रिटर्न वर्ड्स इज कॉल्ड रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन लाइक द अदर्स फ्रॉम फॉर्म ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन द रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन टू द मैसेज शुड बी फॉर्म क्लियरली एंड effectively so that intended message gets conveyed in right form both the written and the oral communication is often more formal way to communicate also writing in more valid and reliable than speech but while speech spont is, is uh, speech is spontaneous the writ- writing causes delay and takes time as feedback is not immediate matlab jaise hum log uh, verbal communication karte hain seedha seedha baat cheet ke bhasha mein baat karte rehte hain usi tarah se uh, written communication bhi hai antar itna hai ki aap uh, likh kar communicate karte ho instead of speaking it verbally you write it and send it to the person dono mein kafi similarities hain similarities is wajah se hain ki dono एग्जैक्टली exactly अच्छे से फॉर्म करना पड़ता है नहीं तो आग, आगे वाले को जो जो लिस्टर है उसको समझ में नहीं आएगा आ, तो आपको सेंटेंस का फॉर्मेशन बिल्कुल परफेक्टली करना पड़ता है और लेकिन थोड़ा सा एक अंतर भी है कि स्पीच में क्या होता है कि आप सीधा सीधा बात कर ले रहे हो कोई डिले नहीं है 
रिटर्न फॉर्म में क्या है यू नीड टू राइट दैम देन सेंड इट टू द पर्सन देन पर्सन विल रीड इट एंड देन अंडरस्टैंड सो देर इज अ टाइम गैप बिटवीन दैम कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन इन ऑर्डर टू कम्युनिकेट इफेक्टिवली इन द रिटर्न फॉर्म द राइट अप शुड बी इफेक्टिवली फॉर्म्ड कीपिंग इन माइंड द थिंग्स लाइक क्लियरिटी ऑफ द इंटेंडेड टॉपिक careful choice of words correct organization of words in sentences sentence formation and cohesive composition of sentences also an effectively written article has a proper introduction and summary that completed before we discuss the components of written communication it will be appropriate that we first discuss the parameters that make the written article effective let's see the first one parameters of effective article you can think of the five c's given below which makes the written article effective coherence is referred to how well your content is organized within the written article overall do the paragraphs uh, flow logically one to the next or do the topics of the paragraph seem to jump between the ideas in jumbled way means it actually determines what how well you are organizing the entire paragraph while writing the article it's called as coherence cohesion cohesion refers refers to the flow of ideas within the single paragraph one idea should logically flow another uh, follow another the reader should not have to work to make the connections between the sentences matlab aisa hai ki flow of single paragraph matlab कोहिजन रेफर्स टू द फ्लो ऑफ आइडियाज मतलब एक आइडिया के बाद दूसरा आइडिया एक के बाद दूसरा आइडियाज को एक साथ एक के बाद एक सजा हुआ होना चाहिए ऐसा नहीं कि जो रीडर है उसको बिल्कुल पता ही नहीं चले कि कहाँ से स्टार्ट हुआ और कहाँ ख़त्म हो गया ठीक है तो रीडर्स को दो सेंटेंस के बीच का कनेक्शन भी बिल्कुल साफ साफ समझ में आ जाना चाहिए कंसीजन द कंसीजन रेफर्स टू हाउ ब्रीफली the writer has been able to discuss the point without including unnecessary or redundant details redundant details matlab kuch aisa nahi hona chahiye ki aapke words mein redundancies ho matlab bahut ghuma ghuma kar likha gaya ho bahut zyada khincha gaya ho sentences ko sara kuch point to point exactly simple way mein likha hua hona chahiye next one clarity clarity refers to how clearly the words the subject verbs and objects have supported the writer's ideas within sentences or within sentence and paragraphs basically uh, what is that clarity this clarity means that the whatsoever words adjective or whatsoever the kind of a sentence formation it should be superbly organized the entire sentence or the paragraphs should be clear to the viewer or you can rather say reader that they can easily understand the written words or sentences or the entire paragraph correctness uh, refers to the functional as well as the grammatical correctness of the entire paragraph the way the paragraph should be designed it should be flawless it should have every functional correctness as well as the grammatical correctness then only the reader going to enjoy the things as well as understand what the writer mean to say as now that you know about the parameters of the effective article then let us talk about the
components of the written communication. Basically, there are three components of written article, structure, style, and the content. Let's see the structure first. The structure refers to the way content are presented. The structure should be such that the thoughts of the writer get conveyed to the reader clearly, easily and correctly. Ideally, a paragraph should talk about one idea only. If the idea changes, so should the paragraph. Also, paragraph should not be too long or too short. Matlab, structure banana ki kis tarah se write kiya jai entire theme ko, entire message ko. Structure is tarah se bana hua hona chahiye ki usme clearly or easily or correctly pata chal jai padne wale ko ki kya likha hua hai iske andar. Aur jab bhi topic badalta hai, ye to हमेशा पैरा भी बदल जाना चाहिए जिस तरह से आप देख सकते हैं बुक में ही स्ट्रक्चर के बाद जो ही स्टाइल के बारे में बात किया गया तो पैराग्राफ बदल दिया गया स्ट्रक्चर अलग में लिखा हुआ है स्टाइल अलग पैराग्राफ में लिखा हुआ है लेट्स जंप टू द स्टाइल इट रेफर्स टू हाउ द कंटेंट रिप्रेजेंटेड आइडियली द सेंटेंस शुड बी सिंपल शॉर्ट एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड सेंटेंस क्या होने चाहिए बिल्कुल शॉर्ट होनी चाहिए सिंपल होना चाहिए और स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड मतलब अपने मीनिंग को सीधा सीधा बात करते हुए अपने टॉपिक के ऊपर सीधा सीधा बात करता हुआ होना चाहिए द स्टाइल आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द व्हाट टाइप ऑफ आर्टिकल इट इज लीव क्लेट हैज अ वेरी फ्यू वर्ड्स और इंफॉर्मेशन एज कंपेयर टू द पब्लिकेशन मतलब एक छोटा सा लीफलेट में लिखा हुआ चीज़ें काफ़ी कस्टमाइज होती काफ़ी छोटी सी होती है बनस्पत की एक पब्लिकेशन कंप्लीट पब्लिकेशन का सो स्टाइल मैटर करता है द थर्ड वन कंटेंट मतलब क्या लिखा गया है उसके अंदर द कंटेंट शुड बी रिटर्न कीपिंग इन द माइंड द रीडर्स किसके लिए लिखा गया है उस हिसाब से कंटेंट डिजाइन होना चाहिए अ गुड आर्टिकल अवॉइड्स जागन्स एंड डज नॉट यूज टेक्निकल टर्म्स अनलेस इट इज necessary to convey some important piece of information ye to pehle hum log dekh hi chuke hain ki content jab bhi likha hua jana chahiye wo simple language mein aur jinke liye likha ja raha hai unko dhyan mein rakhte hue hona chahiye sath mein jitna tak ho sake jargon matlab technical words ka istemal kam se kam ho tab tak technical words ke ya bahut zyada technical words ka istemal na ho jab tak unki zarurat bilkul na ho मतलब बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है तब तो टेक्निकल वर्ड्स का इस्तेमाल हो लेकिन ज़्यादातर जा, समय कोशिश किया जाए कि कुछ अच्छे ढंग का और हल्के फुल्के वर्ड्स का इस्तेमाल किया जाए बहुत ज़्यादा टेक्निकल टर्म्स में नहीं बात करनी चाहिए लेट्स सी द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन इज मोर फॉर्मल वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एंड इट इज मोस्टली यूज इन प्रोफेशनल बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन The advantages offered of written communication are the first one: it is permanent means of communication. It is useful where the record maintenance is required. Record maintenance is required. मतलब written communication वहीं पर किया जाता है जहाँ बहुत ज़्यादा professionally words को exchange किया जाता है और जहाँ पर ज़्यादा तब देखा गया है कि रिकॉर्ड मेंटेनेंस एक ऑप्टिमम लेवल पे होता है मतलब रिकॉर्ड मेंटेनेंस जरूरी होता है वहाँ पर वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन का कोई जगह नहीं होता वहाँ रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन ही जरूरत पड़ता है रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन मोर प्रेसाइज एंड एक्सप्लिसिट मींस इट्स मोर ऑफ अ डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट टू वेरी क्लियरली मैंशन राइट द नेक्स्ट वन इज इट प्रोवाइड्स रेडी records and references as in written communication things are written it can be uh, recorded and we can even give the references of these documents as uh, these are written documents so it can be used as a reference next one legal defense can depend upon written communication as it is provides a valid record we said it previously that it is a valid record 
when the things are documented written properly the things can be used for the defenses in legal matters legal ambiguities now the disadvantages of written communication although it is very useful and preferred style of communication for the professional and businesses there are certain disadvantages to written communication as well first one written communication is comparatively costly comparatively costly matlab ye बिल्कुल एक कॉस्ट तो होगा इसके अंदर क्योंकि हम राइट करते हैं पहले से थॉट डेवलप होता है फिर उस थॉट को पेन एंड पेपर पे उतारते हैं या टाइप करते हैं कुछ भी इट कॉस्ट मोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टेशनरी एंड मैन पा एम्प्लॉयड इन रिटर्न और टाइपिंग एंड डिलीवरिंग द लेटर्स जो मैंने बताया कि ऑब्वियसली देर गोइंग टू बी अफॉर्मेशन ऑफ लेटर्स यू नीड टू राइट दैम और need to type so you need man pa to design any document to create any document so a cost is involved here the instant clarification is not possible if the receivers of the written message are at the far away place and need to clear some doubts about the article immediate response is not possible there will be some time delay before the doubts is cleared or it may not be cleared at all what does it means agar koi doubt hai article ko lekar kisi particular point pe agar tumko uh, samajh mein nahi aa raha hai to usko clear karna bada mushkil hai kyunki agar wo message kafi dur se bheja gaya ho ya koi aur bheja ho uh, jisko tum pehchante nahi ho to kabhi kabhi aisa bhi hai ki wo doubt clear ho bhi nahi sakta hai theek hai to the doubts are there if there are any kind of a doubt the clarification of that doubt is uh, pretty tough turat turat nahi ho sakta verbal communication mein jaise hum log turat turat nahi ye cheez samajh mein nahi aaya to directly bata diya jata hai ki ha ye cheez kisi dusre dhang se aapko samjha diya jata hai ki ha ye cheez ye hai aap doubt mat rakho right the next one time consuming the written communication is comparatively time consuming as it takes more time to write than speak also the encoding and sending of the message takes time time consuming ha thoda bahut time to lagta hi hai message ko type karne mein aur bhejne mein to time time consuming hai zabani taur par aap kisi se baat kar le verbal communication aur isme antar to hai additional workload more paperwork and typing burden is involved with written communication aapko sirf thought waha verbal communication mein kya hota hai aapne thought ko process kiya aur seedha seedha bolna shuru kar diya communicate kar diya lekin isme kya hai isme aapko sochna hai fir words ko form karke likhna hai properly saaf saaf chahe type karna hai fir aap usko send karke uh कम्युनिकेट करते हो सो देर इज अ एडिशनल वर्कलोड दैट्स डेफिनेटली देयर सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन इन नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल मीट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो